Doctor, Doctor, I feel like watching Operation Ouch. You can watch them now on the free BBC iPlayer app. Hubbard lights off. What are you doing in there? I'm spending some time in the dark, Chris. Ready to fire up my superpower to become Night Vision Man. Well, can you come out, please? Not yet, Chris. I need to be here for about 20 to 30 minutes. As I'm standing here in the dark, the rod cells in my retina are gradually adjusting and increasing their sensitivity to extremely low levels of light. And then I will be ready to defeat my arch nemesis, Day Vision Man. Who's Day Vision Man? Oh, that's me, isn't it? Obviously. My transformation is complete! I'm ready. Lab lights off. Day Vision Man, prepare to meet your doom. I can't see a thing's on. Exactly. Time for the first challenge. Lava floor. The floor of the lab is covered in hot lava, and the only way to cross it is by these stepping stones. My rod cells have gone through a process called dark adaptation, which works by the cells getting more sensitive to light the longer they're in the dark, so I can see where to step. Ugh. Oh, oh dear. Because Day Vision Man's eyes haven't adjusted to the dark, he's walking all over the lava. I can't see the stepping stones at all. Here's an operation you must perform. Head to wherever you download your apps, download the free BBC iPlayer app now, and watch brand new Operation Ouch. Challenge two, find a brain. In one bowl, there is a brain. In the other bowls, there is disgusting stuff you'd want to avoid. To complete the challenge, you must retrieve the brain. On your marks. Get set, go. Well, I can just about make out the bowls because my rods have started adjusting to the dark. But I, I can't read the labels. Well, I'm just going to have to feel in the bowls. Here goes. Ugh. This is absolutely disgusting. No brain there. That's just slimy. That'll be the snot then. <laughs> Time to look in the second bowl. Let's have a dip. That sounds like the mud bowl. Yuck, there's no brain in here. Why aren't you having a rummage? Because my night vision is working perfectly, and so I can see the brain. I can't see the green colour of the snot or the brown of the mud because my cone cells don't work in the dark, but I can read the labels because my super sensitive rods have adjusted to the dark and allow me to see the size, shape and brightness of my surroundings. There you go. Not a very difficult challenge at all, really. Time for challenge three. Pin the brain. In front of you is a picture of a brain. All you need to do is pin it onto Billy's head. And this is where I, Night Vision Man, will try out... Finished! What? I finished the game. I pinned the brain on Billy Bones. I've done it. But how did you beat me at my own challenge? Because, Zond, my rods have now adapted to the low level of light. You see, I, too, am Night Vision Man, too. <laughs> So we've shown you that white light is made up of all the colours of the rainbow, which can be detected by cone cells in your eyes. And that thanks to rod cells, your eyes can go through a process called dark adaptation, which allows you to see in the dark, helping you to do the same things you do in the daytime. What are you doing, Zond? Well, I can't be Night Vision Man if you're also Night Vision Man. So instead, I've decided to become the Rainbow Raider. I'm going to create a mega blast of rainbows using my radical Rainbow Ray. Here I go. Rainbows, go! <laughs> God, the lab! It's out of control. I've got to turn it off. The universe is going to be multicolored forever! Ouch. Oh, I think I've got a fever. BBC iPlayer app fever. I've just downloaded it for free to watch brand new Operation Out whenever I want, and you should do it too.